Hi, hookists! Amazing work again. You guys make my job really hard, and I have been loving all the lyrics you're submitting. Um, it's overwhelming trying to just choose and and not have you guys to bounce off again. Um, so I want to say again, please go in there and look at what each other's writing, because it really helps me know what you guys think is the best idea for the next line of the song. Um, or notice trigger words like before with silently and stuff like that. Um, go in there, even if you just do it and you read through and you pick one or two, because that will come together with all of us and, and I'll see what you guys really think is good and so I can write the best song for us. Um, before I get into the lines that I wanted to give major kudos to, um, there were a couple of you that submitted lyrics that I thought might be great in future rounds. The first one is, Taish, you submitted a lyric, um, why not keep it or throw it away? Love that. And I think that might be a great verse idea when we get to the verse and we start coupleting lyrics again. If you could develop your idea more um, and resubmit it when that happens, that would be great. Um, I thought maybe I'm wrong and maybe it's a bridge idea. And uh, so whenever you feel good about it, Submit it again, please. And um, that also reminds me that it's really hard to choose. And um, please don't be offended if I if I choose something and or if I don't. And I, I also want to apologize for kind of leading you guys maybe down the wrong path a lot, I feel like. Um, telling you to do the furniture lyrics or telling you yesterday to do something with the more specific you because I didn't end up choosing something about like that. Um, it's hard. It's really great when you're co-writing and you have this bouncy communication. Um, and, and we have some of that, but um, take everything I say with a grain of salt unless I'm really specific, like write something that rhymes with letter, which is your next agenda. Um, so all my kudos today to MJ Frith. I loved your line, you wear your heartbreak well. I really wanted that to work. There was something about it that, um, not quite as much, but there was a, a master class I took with Janice Ian once where she talked about someone who cursed in the middle of their song and they didn't give the curse word context. It came out of nowhere and so we all went, and who cares, we were all young college kids, didn't matter that the guy cursed, but it was weird in the song. And um, this wasn't quite that far, but it was something that didn't fit for some reasons. It sings really well, you did a great job, and I just wanted to let you know all of that. Um, I also loved, um, I forgot to get back to the other people I want to submit to. Dan Herman, I loved what you said with your extended chorus, so please resubmit some of those lyrics. And Jerry, um, you had an extended verse chorus, extended lyrics for the chorus, and I want you to resubmit those too. Really good. Um, so. Okay, backtracking. Kudos also for, um, there were some great lyrics for, for this next chorus line from Pambi. And um, you said you'd be there for me. And from Jerry, um, you slipped away from me. And I, I want to tell you guys why I didn't pick them because I know I told you to write something about the word you and you both submitted other, other ideas too that were great. But um, those were the best fit, but then not for very specific reasons. And I um, I didn't choose them. They both sung well, great job, but I didn't choose them because I thought we can do better than rhyming with the word me again and having that in here again. Even though I know I said like little pronoun things are fine, it's one of those words you hold out. It has It's a word that has more weight in the song. So it's not like a word you just, I don't know if that makes sense, hopefully it does. Um, all of that said, the lyric I chose today was something Michael Sean submitted. I wanted to give you lyrical spirit fingers, Michael. Congrats. I think this is your first line in the song. And um, you submitted, my voice merely echoes. And I changed that around um, to echoes of memories. So I hope you guys like that. I think it's good. And, and going back to the Janicean thing, it's one of those things that also... The word echoes 
it's a big feeling word. It's a big word, but it's also a little arbitrary. And, and I love when you can have something that applies to anyone. Like, we haven't ever said she in here or he or, you know, because I love when you have something that multiple people can relate to and multiple experiences can relate to. Um, so it's echoes of memories, whatever those memories were. And, and you still, you hold those with you. And we do that as humans. We hold all this stuff. So um, that's our next lyric line. Please, um, we're going to choose on Saturday the next chorus line. Um, that's funny. Chorus line. Musical theater nerds. Okay. We're going to choose the next chorus line. Um, it's got to rhyme with the word letter. And the day after that, Sunday, I think we're going to finish our chorus and we're going to choose a line. A, I'll explain Saturday, but I want you guys to do two lines that day. So we're getting our chorus done by Monday. Um... So, let me play the song. So good, you guys. I'm so impressed. Here we go. My own words stare at me Like I should have known Mocking me silently Paper cut and bow Echoes of memory Write that next line. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Have a good one. Bye.